Yo, 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 this is Sun, also known as SPL Gum, also known as Spatial Gum, also known as Grunt. The artist team's called Grunt, and this is Pokemon Masters DX. Guys, as you might know, there was a sudden date of mine today. Absolutely came at the worst possible time because I'm very busy today and I'll be very busy this entire week. So here is a little data mine discussion for you guys. I'm gonna keep it as short as possible. And, you know, make sure you hit the thumbs up button as it really helps out with the exposure of this video. It really helps out this channel as well. And also, do subscribe if you haven't. Especially if you have been watching my data mine slash gem count videos slash analysis videos for the longest time. Because you're in the perfect place for Pokemon Masters EX content. And I do this every single month. Now! A couple of days ago, I asked you guys about what you feel about a seasonal outfit for Cynthia. Well, you know what, guys? We got a much better... We got... We got Cynthia. We got Cynthia in this update. Unfortunately, she is not a seasonal outfit, but a Master Fair Scout. Yes. She's Master Fair, people call her Cygnus with Cynthia. I call her Renegade Cynthia because this one, her name is Cygnus with Cynthia Renegade. So, we got her coming on the 27th, this month, this month, guys. So, before the year ends, we're still gonna have one Master Fair Sync Pair. And the good thing about this is, now that the data mine came in early, you have a decision whether or not you want to scout for Classic Alessa, because Classic Alessa's last day is tomorrow. Now, you know that Cygnus with or Renegade Synth is coming. Do you want her? A lot of people got shafted with Cygnus with Luzamine. And, you know, this one is also a Master Fair. So, before the year ends, we're gonna have another Master Fair. Is it worth it? I'm gonna be scouting for her. I'm gonna make my Sync Pair analysis in the next coming days. I'm gonna be extremely... Well, just wish me luck because this week is gonna be deadly for me. And then, um, we also have... I, t I totally forgot to do um, Sonia's video. And then... We also have, aside from her, we have the uh, seasonal outfits of Volkner over here. I really like his outfit. Something I would probably wear. And uh, we have Cygnus suit, or rather, Holiday, uh, Sabrina. I'm not sure if this is the six-star outfit or this one. I think it's I think it's this one the the six uh, the the outfit. This is Chinkling, not Chimiko. Chinkling and Sabrina or Sabrina and Chinkling, and then uh, Volkner and Electivire. So um, if I'm not mistaken, let me just check here, guys. Um, Chinkling is gonna be a support. It's a very very interesting thing, and then. Um, Volkner is going to be a strike unit. Now, I'll be analyzing them later on, but very, very typical attacks for both of them. The thing that makes them good are their passive skills. Now, Volkner's passive skill allows him to always apply the super effective up next to Volkner alternately. So, attack, normal damage, then super effective up next, then attack, Normally, then super effective up next. At the same time, has a, always a chance of making the next move for free. And then also is able to cause electric terrain first time it is used in battle. In the meantime, we have um, Sabrina, who only has Confusion, X Special Attack, All, and Condition Shield. But at the same time, very, very interesting passive skills has a 30% chance of applying special moves up next to all allied sync pairs. All allied sync pairs, special moves up next. We have seen physical moves up next. It increases the damage by 40%. This one, 30% chance of giving everyone a 40% chance or 40% increase of special attack damage every single time she attacks. And then smart teamwork, 30% chance of 
raising everyone's critical hit rate by one. So if this applies, this happens three times, everyone's critical hit rate will be max. Then, uh, aggravation four basically raises the chance of confusing the enemy using confusion. I haven't seen their sync grids yet, been very busy. We also have, finally, 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 the arrival of Lucas. If I'm not mistaken, Lucas will be paired up with Dialga. And Lucas will be a tech sync pair. Yes, tech. Um, he's gonna be a Pokefair scout. Yep. And then, the funny thing about his trainer move, it's called It's Our Time. Finally, it's your time to arrive. Um, and then his passive skills are, uh, allow him to, at the start of the battle, have very high special attacks that immediately, as well as every time um, the trainer, you, every time you use a trainer move, your next um, attack will be free. So that's about it for for those. We also have, as I said earlier, we have Cygnus with Cynthia, or rather Renegade Cynthia, who's gonna arrive on the 27th. Very typical, uh, you know, uh, moves as well. Shadow Ball is normal. Shadow Force is basically Phantom Force, except a little bit more powerful. And then we have Ghost Wish. Changes a zone into a ghost zone. And basically, it's like a terrain, but it's probably invented by this game. It's a ghost zone. And speaking of ghost zone, going back to... Going back to um, Lucas... He also have Dragon Wish, which causes a Dragon Zone, which powers up Dragon-type attacks. I'm not sure what this game is trying to make here, but we haven't gotten Grassy Terrain yet, and you're introducing something new. Where is our Grassy Terrain? Anyway, um, those are the new Sync Pairs. By the way, Cyrus gets a 6-star EX form finally, and I'm wondering who Cyrus is... Oh, Cyrus. You know what? Cyrus has a very, very interesting connection, I guess, to... Where is that slide? To this. S Cynthia. Cyrus and Cynthia connect, I guess, in some way or another. And then, what else? We also have uh, Syncrids, finally, for Cheryl, for Thornton, and then who's the other one? I am going to do a much better analysis of these. Who is the other one? Okay, who is this? Gardenia! Gardenia Bread, Cheryl, and Thornton are gonna have Syncrids, and Thornton will have a 6-star EX form. As you can see over here, sorry, I'm moving very quickly. I'm kind of rushing and running out of time. And then we also have a lot of returning events. We have story event and Team Skull Crash Course, which is the arrival of Lumeria and um, Boss Guzma. We have the rerun of story event season's greetings. I think this is the New Year event last year, if I'm not mistaken. Or is this the holiday event last year? Last last year. I forgot. We have Legendary Arena Oxy. We have uh, Pokemon Masters Day again every 25th of the month. This is when Thornton will get a 6-star EX form. Gardenia will get a Sync Grid. And um, Cheryl will get a Sync Grid. And then we have the Serena, Guzma, and Bianca Spotlight Scout January 24. Renegade Cynthia Master Fair Scout this month. But you know what? Check that out. Check that out. She lasts for a s extremely, extremely long time. Two months. Two months for Cygnus with Cynthia. December 27 until February 28th. That's long. I think this is the longest there's ever been as aside from Cygnus with Blue who has been extended for a very long time. We have Volkner Seasonal Tiered Scout. January 1, together with Sabrina, 
January 1 as well. Normally, they split this two days apart, but no, they have to give it one day. We have a couple of select special scouts. That means you can select another sync pair side from the 15 or 25. I think I'm until I get Cygnus with Erica, which you guys know I really want. Um, Cygnus with Misty, The Rock. I probably will attempt the select Poke Fair Scout, but we'll we'll know. There's a select special scout. There's a select Poke Fair Scout. Just keep that in mind. And then there's Lillian Land seasonal scout on January four until January eighteen. Five star guaranteed seasonal scout. Interesting. So many. <coughs> sorry. So many scouts. Lucas is coming on January 13. Meanwhile, there's a guaranteed Sino Scout January 14. Five star guaranteed special scout. Or five star select special scout January 15. Water bug and bug type five star select special scout. You know what? Just analyze these for yourself. I'm going to the events January 4. Get season QRM father foe. Uh, give or take. January 14, Solgaleo is January 24, Hop, February 4, February 4? How long is this data mine for? And Villain Arc is coming on January 13, Dragon Type Gear event January 6, Fire and Steel Type Egg event January 24, Story event New Year and New Friends, I think this is the new one, January 1, Passio Spectacle January 24, uh, villain Arc Prelude, December 27. Villain Event Dreams of the Void, January 13. Daily Battle New Year's Challenge. I wonder what this is. January 1. Extreme Battle Event Team Galactic Takedown, January 15. Then there's the Legendary Gauntlet, which will introduce a couple of new cookies to us. There's a 1-star Deluxe Lucky Cookie. There's a 2-star Deluxe Lucky Cookie. And 3-star Deluxe Lucky Cookie. On a first glance, guys, what I feel the best one out of everything is Super Powered 3. Powers up the user's moves and sync moves that are super effective. This means that if you don't land a critical hit, this will be stronger as long as the opponent is weak to the move that you're hitting it with. So I think this will replace Critical Strike 2 for a lot of things. We do not get Critical Strike 3, 4, 5, or anything like that. But I feel that Super Power 3 is the best one out of the bunch. But we'll just have to see soon. And then, there's a masked New Year gem present on January 1 to January 8. I'll do a gem count video. I cannot promise it today, but I'll try my best to release it today or tomorrow. And then Master Gem, Master Fair Gem Special, Happy New Year Gem Special, Event Gem Special, and Battle Villa on January 6th. So, I think that's, that's a very, very, very quick look at the data mine. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I'm going to discuss these a little bit more in depth later on. But right now, I'm just in a hurry. And I rushed outside, rush home just to finish this. So subscribe and give this a thumbs up if you haven't. And with that said, this is Sol, also known as SPL Gum, also known as Spatial Gum, also known as Grunt. Your artist team's called Grunt. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Right.